Hi, it's Dr. Minkoff, LifeWorks Wellness Center. I want to talk to you today about a topic that is like so commonly expressed and it's called adrenal fatigue. Like what is adrenal fatigue? Or the doctor says to the patient, your adrenals are shot. Or I'm an adrenal patient. Or what's wrong with me? I have no energy. And the doctor says, it's your adrenals. You probably heard this, you've probably been told it. Uh, your adrenal glands, adrenal, renal is kidney. Adrenal is next to the kidney or near the kidney. So the adrenal gland is a small gland. It's probably like a walnut size that sits on top of each kidney. So that's back here in your back, just above your rib cage. The purpose of these glands is to produce a certain set of hormones. And these hormones are usually activated when there are stressors. Now it could be your boss or your husband or your wife or too much exercise, or not enough sleep, but the body is in a stress state. And these hormones are pushed out. There's two sets of them. There's actually two parts of the adrenal gland. There's an inner part and an outer part. And they put out hormones which are adrenaline and noradrenaline, that's like fight or flight. And usually when that happens, it also puts out another hormone called hydrocortisone or cortisol. If the adrenals are called on too often for too long, so you have chronic long-term stressors, the gland itself can get tired, it can burn out. Sometimes if you have an autoimmune disease, the gland will be attacked by your own immune system. Sometimes virus infections or other infections can affect the adrenal gland, but basically the bottom line is the gland can't put out hormones at an appropriate level to meet the needs of the stressors that are going on in the person's life. And so what they start to feel is tired, they can have low blood pressure, they can get pigmentation, they can get darkening under their arms or in other parts of their skin, they can feel faint, their bodies can actually start to lose salt, so they need more salt, and they just feel like they just can't do it. They may want to sleep, but sometimes the sleep isn't restful, and that's what we call adrenal fatigue. Now, when we measure hormones from the adrenal gland, usually the ones we're looking at when the person feels this way is their cortisol levels, their hydrocortisone levels, and normally in a person, the level is highest in the first thing in the morning when they wake up. It's a little bit lower at noon, it's a little bit lower in the afternoon, it's a little bit lower at night. Uh, we measure this usually with a saliva test. In someone who's got adrenal fatigue, what we find is that the line is flat. There's no morning spike, there's no noon spike, there's no afternoon spike. It's like flat and low. Their body just isn't putting out hydrocortisone. Sometimes they're also not making another adrenal hormone, which is called DHEA. That may be low as well. So when I see this type of person, Sometimes, if it's not too bad, <clears throat> they will respond to an adrenal type supplement. It might be an adrenal gland ground up with some extra vitamin C, some extra B vitamins. Sometimes that helps. It's like food for the adrenal gland and it supports them. But sometimes it's to the point where they just can't do it without giving them the hormone. So we will prescribe hydrocortisone and the person can take this and usually it takes about six months to two years in order to take the burden off their adrenal gland so that it can heal. Meanwhile, we get their cortisol levels up so they actually feel human again and they feel good. The brain has a hormone that tells the adrenal gland to work. And that, hor that hormone is called ACTH, Adrenal Cortico Stimulating Hormone. If the blood level of cortisol is too low, the brain will continually send the message to the adrenal gland to make more. By giving very small amounts of hydrocortisone to a person who's not making any, we can actually get the brain to stop making so much ACTH. That gives the adrenal gland a chance to rest and heal while we supply the hormone from the outside. Then as the gland heals, it will start making cortisol again and then they don't need the other cortisol and we can wean them off. 
Sometimes DHEA is low, we will supplement that as well. Most people, as I said, in between six months and two years can get through this and they can be okay, but they actually have to manage their lifestyle as well. You know, if they're not getting enough sleep, they have to sleep more. If they have big stressors in their life, if they're exercising too much, they've got to chill out so that their body can heal, the stressors go down. Some people with sleep apnea have adrenal fatigue because they're not breathing at night. Their body's in a stress state the whole night because they're, they have low oxygen. So it can be any of these things. Usually it's caused by something else. We treat it, but also at the same time, we're trying to find out what else is doing this and then we can handle that so the adrenal gland isn't under such stress. So I hope this clarifies for you this whole idea of adrenal fatigue, adrenal stress, and you have an understanding of it. And um, it's fixable and um, we really know how to do it. Okay? Hope this helps.